Appion's valve core removal tools are fully field serviceable for quick and easy repairs on the job site. The KTM V40 contains 10 sets of O-rings for any generation of Appion VCRTs. Here is a list of necessary and recommended tools for the repair. We suggest using a second VCRT to help with seating the O-rings. You can identify a second generation VCRT by the stamped lettering on the fittings. The first generation VCRTs do not have any marks. We will start with the first generation repair. The first generation tool uses a slightly larger outer O-ring for the 5 16 inch tool. It will be important to choose the correct O-ring before installation. Begin the repair by removing the stem and setting it aside. Confirm that the tool requires two O-rings. Use a bent pick to remove both of the old, worn O-rings. Lubricate the O-rings with clean vacuum pump oil. It's necessary to install the outermost O-ring first, then the small inner O-ring. Install the larger O-ring. It will be necessary to compress the O-ring a bit to fit into the groove. Use the blunt end of a ballpoint pen to help push the O-ring into place. Repeat this process with the smaller inner O-ring, being careful not to cut or damage the O-ring. Again, use a pen to help seat the second O-ring. Visually check to make sure that both O-rings are sitting correctly in their groove. If you notice the inner O-ring is not sitting correctly, remove it and install again. You can use the quarter inch fitting on a second VCRT to help fully seat the O-rings. Be sure to avoid excessive tightening. Second generation tools use only one O-ring. Use a bent pick to remove the old, worn O-ring. Be careful when removing to avoid scratching the O-ring surface. Lubricate the new O-ring with clean vacuum pump oil. Install the new O-ring. It will be necessary to compress the O-ring a bit to fit into the groove. Use the blunt end of a ballpoint pen to help push the O-ring into place. You can use the quarter inch fitting on a second VCRT to help fully seat the O-ring. After the repair is complete, you will need to perform an isolation test to ensure the tool is properly holding a seal. Refer to our isolation test video for the step-by-step -step procedure. With this repair, your valve core removal tool can be restored back to working like new. If you have any questions about a repair, don't hesitate to reach out to Appion directly.